Hey guys, welcome. So this is question number seven, strategic management chapter number one. This Dharam Singh question, okay, is very 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 famous. Um, this question tells you about Dharam Singh, a functional level uh, manager. <clears throat> For example, he might be a marketing manager, or he might be accounting manager. or uh, he might be the head of some purchase department so, so he is a functional level manager i have told you uh, the entire corporation will be having three levels okay level number 1 it is like uh, ratan tata madri okay he is the uh, he is the jawan of uh, like what he is the king of uh, in the entire tata empire he is like that okay he is at that corporate level figure okay um, but when it comes to tata steel there will be a separate business head like for example all the tata steel affairs will be taken after or taken care of by this person so that ceo will take care of the steel business when it comes to tata tanishk okay the there will be a separate ceo who will who will take care of all the gold and diamond and platinum business okay and when it comes to fast track or tata titan watches there will be a separate ceo see i'm i'm trying to tell you that there there is a very vast and big empire and the entire empire is under the control of one king or a set of kings for example there might be some uh, for example you have this ambani ambani family like the reliance right so you have this um, uh, this father of grandfather ambani dhirubhai dhirubhai's two sons and both the sons had like what uh, um anil ambani and mukesh ambani mukesh has three uh, what are three or two sons and one daughter and uh, anil ambani has three sons i guess so here the, the entire empire is coming under one family right that and the family is uh, when there is a progeny in the family automatically there is not that one dhirubhai who is the king of entire empire now you have isha ambani in that okay you have akash ambani in that and of course you have the father anil ambani so everybody is there in the <coughs> top clutch so this top clutch you know for example jio okay jio telecommunications or when you have this reliance telecommunication or jio so this jio will be taken care of or the jio will be look after by isha ambani or when they talk about uh, reliance uh, mart or reliance jio mart where there is a quick commerce company uh, akash amani will take care of that so there are lots and lots of corporate level corporate level is like the topmost level okay and after that um, you will be having some special companies uh, okay the steel na this person is responsible okay tanishk this man is responsible on the madri like tata consultancy services are who is responsible on the madri so um, when you have a multinational corporation with multi product line uh, every product when it is gold one separate ceo for that when it is for watches uh, consumer durables now there is a separate uh, ceo illa it's like watch and very consumables now you have separate ceo all these ceos forms the like what the top uh, corporate level adha mari and after that you will have a business level head for example twitter it thinking na you if you talk about twitter you have india can you have a twitter head and for the entire world like what uh, who is the chief ceo you have a separate ceo for india you have a separate ceo for africa you have a separate ceo see automatically either the business is uh, divided into geographical locations or the business is divided into products for example tanishk tata titan watches fast track or uh, tata steel tata consultancy services tata salt tata sampan unpolished urud ulund dal or urud dal see you have lots of products so basically the corporate level corporate so you have three levels corporate business and functional corporate is a top strategic level where they are talking about whether i should ac uh, acquire that or dispose this off they talk about only acquisition disposition what is the strategy that has to be adopted and all that on a very 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 uh, very 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 wholesome basis but when it comes to a specific country for example when i when we talk about twitter twitter is again a corporation you have a corporate level of ceo levels and then you have this country level head for example for india of a southern india of for malaysia of for uh, indonesia or the country heads are there obviously you have a country head uh when you take google also you have so many services provided by google for every service there will be a separate head on the madri apart from that you have ground level people who are involved in marketing who are involved in purchase department who are involved in operations who are, who are involved in accounting this is the functional level managers see what is the what is the speciality of functional level managers of dinkita na the functional heads for example the marketing team or the door to door delivery team or people who really means the consumers for example you are selling 
some BB cream, um, okay, you, you're selling some uh, foundation creams or cosmetics or lipstick or something, you're uh, selling it off, when you're selling off, when you're selling the product to the customers, the real feedback from the customers is, is more known to the ground level employees who's there in the marketing department or who are the sales agent, okay. So sales department, marketing department and the real sales person or the person who's in the departmental stores or the convenience stores are... Uh, the fancy stores who are really meeting with the day-to-day -day consumers are more aware of the reactions or responses from the customers. So basically, whenever a strategy is being designed, uh, the question is very simple. Dharam Singh question is very simple. Dharam Singh one is like a functional level manager. For example, so a marketing head or sales head or accounting head or a purchases department where you buy the raw materials and the raw material purchase department head. Some head is a functional head, that's all. So, the corporate level one is coming up with a strategy. They are designing a strategy for the entire uh, organization. So, now in the designing of the entire organization, one, they are drawing a strategy in the Should Dharam Singh be involved? Dharam Singh, uh, the, the, Dharam Singh represents what? Dharam Singh represents all the functional level managers. Functional level managers, no, purchase department, sales department, marketing department, advertising department, sales, sales department, in the, in the department heads. Uh, one, should they be involved in the designing of a strategy? I mean, involved in the There are two, two reasons why. Number one, <clears throat> the people who are designing the strategy in the AC room with burger and sandwiches or, or with uh, some budgy samosa tea coffee, they really do not know what is the real reaction and response, what is the um, consumer vibration, what is the pulse of the general public. <coughs> the people who sit in the AC rooms, who discuss with the lots of 30 meetings, 40 meetings about it, they are drawing, drawing up some strategy every now. They don't have the real connection with the people, the re with the real people, okay. Maybe uh, they are coming up with a toothpaste, designing some toothpaste. Eh? The corporate or the CEO, they will not even use the toothpaste. They will be importing some toothpaste from USA or UK or uh, uh, Europe and they will be using that toothpaste only. The toothpaste that they are designing in this country, okay, wow. It will be used by the common man. So the common man or the responses, reactions and all that and how do you market it or whether you should increase the production or decrease the production should be learnt from functional people now. Functional people are the people who have real interactions and uh, how do you call it? The real interaction with the real public, functional people. So it is better that you involve the functional level managers while you are uh, designing the strategy. I cannot do that. He is after all a functional level manager. I will not involve him in the designing of the strategy. Na? Your problem only because it is only you who are going to design. No problem. You can sit and design in red color, green color, blue color, whatever fashion you want. But who is going to get, uh, get it implemented? Where are you going to implement the strategy? You are actually going to implement the strategy in the operations department. You are actually going to implement the strategy in the functional level. So you better get the <coughs> Excuse me. You better get the cooperation from that department. <coughs> Read the question. I'm sorry. So the question is very simple. Dharam Singh, the procurement department head. So he is the raw material buying department. <coughs> head of a company. <coughs> a mountain biking equipment company was recently promoted to a to look after sales department along with procurement department. So his seniors at the corporate level have always liked his way of leadership and are assured that he would ensure that the implementation strategies to the best of his capacity. But they did not involve him in the decision making of the company. Is this the right approach? Validate your answer with logical reasoning around the management levels and decision making. The answer is very simple. It is being given in two points. <clears throat> Blue color highlight panikla. First point another. Who has closer or direct involvement with customers? It is only Dharam Singh kind of people. So don't mess with them. That is point number one. Even if you mess with them, you will never be able to implement the strategy because at the end of the day, the implement happens at the operational level. And the operational level managers are called as functional managers. And if you mess with them in the designing of the strategy and you're not and you're not involving them in the strategic designing, they will not render their support in the operational level. That's a big headache for you. So better involve them in the uh, designing of the strategy 
and then you get better results from them uh, while you are implementing it because implementing is a big headache it has to be done properly it's like directing a movie you can easily write a script you can easily write a script with 400 pages but turning that 400 pages of script into bahubali it requires a lot of directing skills so direction is very important implementation is highly important coming up with a good strategy is only like what 10 percent of uh, of the work 90 percent of the work lies in implementation alone and implementation happens at the functional level functional level managers go quietly operational okay that is what they're trying to tell you so with this we are coming to the end of functional level managers so should they be involved in the design of the strategy or not yes they should be involved there is no other talk because there are two reasons number one they are closely related with the um, direct uh, customers and number two implementation happens at the operational level beware okay thank you so much for watching the video if you find it educative okay please do put a like uh, comment your uh, suggestions for improving or your appreciation words and definitely do share with your friends okay thank you so much <clears throat> don't mind me coughing because i've had a very bad health for the last week i was not able to uh, upload certain questions for you i'm so sorry for delay but please do bear with me okay thank you so much have a nice day